Most of us have either been affected or know someone who's been impacted by breast cancer. It can be a brutal disease. Reporter Lindsay Thies has a story of a family that found beauty in that battle. Well, the story of giving definitely has a big part here at Methodist, but first it starts in a town very small, just about an hour away from Omaha. Oakland, Nebraska. I think that's what's cool about a small town. Population 1,244. You know, you hate it because everybody thinks they know your business, but when you need support, there's no better place. In that town, the Bousquet family. Dad Brad and Mom Alyssa and their four children needed that support. Since December, this has been the family's second living room chair for fluids and chemo treatments. Alyssa has also already undergone three surgeries. She has more to come. But this week marked a big milestone, the last chemo treatment. Brad wanted to celebrate with flowers, but not just one bouquet. Holy moly. Basket after basket. Of 500 roses total. <laughs> the challenge was was trying to reach as many people as possible without social media because she's a Facebook person. So I just wrote one long text, and it was a really long text. It was probably obnoxious for people to have to read. But uh, I sent that out to about 20 friends, and I asked them to forward it on to other friends. This is probably one of the neatest things I've ever had a hand in. And that's just part of it. The florist in Oakland helped sell the flowers for 10 bucks a piece. All of the money raised went to the Susan G. Komen Foundation for Cancer Research. What am I going to do with my <laughs> The bouquets, hoping to pay it forward, gave out all of those bouquets to other patients and staff in the cancer center. The giving is better than the receiving, 100% on that one. Now Alyssa's battle is not completely over, but another thing not done. He just came in to donate $10 more to the roses. The support of a small town. It's just started to blossom. If you want to make a donation to the Komen Foundation, we've put a link up with this story online at KMTV.com. For now, at 83rd and Dodge, I'm Lindsay Thies for KMTV Action 3 News. And today, Bousquet's Roses for Cancer have raised more than $4,500. Just love that story. You posted Great it on story. Facebook last night yeah. telling us about it, and it was like, we need to go talk to these people because yeah. that is just an incredible effort in the town taking part. Yeah. Love to see that. Mm -hmm. Another hot